don't know control of my controller, everyone. I am sorry. But hell, you get to deal with my silly ass with the keyboard. Wake up. Come on, Jackie, wake up. Everything's okay. Yay. <clears throat> my favorite. There you go. You're out of it now. You fell out of the bed. You <sighs> Vinny? I, I don't understand what's happening. Is this... Is this hell? Okay, that's a new one. This is the darkness, isn't it? It's some kind of trick. Come on, Jackie, don't start talking about that stuff again, okay? The darkness isn't real. It's just in your mind. What? I'm sorry, but I know you get confused by all this. These bad dreams are a part of being sick. You gotta help us get you well again. I'll tell you what. You go by the dispensary before breakfast, and I'll tell the doc you had a good night. But they're rewriting us all. Even you. I'm not even supposed to be here. Just calm down, Mr. Walker. What the fuck is happening to me? Yeah, I understand. No, he's been a sweetheart. He goes up and down, but he does well if I'm patient with him. It can be confusing for him at times. I want to do some displacement therapy with him. I'll set something up. Let me know I'm if he gets back on his cycle. Into a more okay. Complex He's Let's try Clozapine for a while. According to the evaluation, he had a problem with his white cell count. I can keep Wouldn't a secret. I can keep a secret. Just let me go and I won't breathe a word. Scout's on or... We'll take regular hey, Jackie. I got that thing you wanted. It's big. Johnny, talk to me. What is all this? Some kind of darkness trick? That's what I told them, but they wouldn't believe me. They got bad wrists from all the computers. I tried to get your rocket in here, but it was too big. That's why I don't go outside no more. Johnny, you gotta help me get out of here. You think there's some kind of secret key to everything, Jackie? It's Tuesday. You take your medicine and then you get your meatloaf. God damn it. I don't feel right in my head. I think I'm not alone. It's too bright here. Uh. Bye now. Is it morning already? Alpha. The fuck's going on here? What I really want to do is paint. Well, not you too. Ah, <laughs> oh, goddamn. Meatloaf on Tuesday. I see you. All right, so I let me get this straight. He says He's he lives in a big one. mansion kind yeah, of place. Too close together. But I already had a nap. Tony, please tell me you know what the fuck is going on here. Lima beans are spies. Fuck me. I think he's the one. He's not the one. The eyes are too close together. No, I'm not. Come on! Tell me something. Anything. We're working on a plan to escape this place disguised as a band-aid. Yeah, but we're not sure if we can pull it off. Thanks for nothing. Hey. Hey, you. Who, me? No, not you, asshole. Him, the one with the hair. I don't think he likes us. I don't like him either. If you find your way out of here, make sure you come back to get us. Unless it's through a wormhole or something. Don't be stupid. Only a worm could fit through a wormhole. I hate this place. Don't you? Hey, he asked you a question. That... My doctor keeps trying to kill me, you know? Sure. Everyone knows Dr. Vic is crazy. He must be nuts. 
He said we were getting better. I think there are five ways to tie your shoelaces. Six if you count bending over. Ooh, ooh, good point. <laughs> My mom used to say, for Pete's sake, pay attention. But I met Pete, and he told me he never had any expectations of me whatsoever. If there really is life outside of this place, I'm afraid of it. What happens on a Tuesday in this so-called outside world? Exactly. How do you set your clock if they don't give you meatloaf? Uh... There's really no time like the present. How come? Think about it. The moment you hit the present, you're not in it anymore. You're in the future. Except that it's now the present. Wow. And everyone thinks this is perfectly normal? Why do you always have to be the one that goes first? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know there what you're are more happen. things in heaven and earth, Horatio, than are dreamt of in your philosophy. Who said that? I did, just then. You know, I don't think you can ever really find what you're looking for. Unless you're in a hardware store and you're looking for a nail. Oh sure, chances are pretty good at that point. Jackie, Dr. James is looking for you. He wants to talk to you. It's okay, you're not in any trouble. Just go see him in his office. Frank. Frank, I'm so sorry about Eddie. Oh, you mean Edward? He's right over there waiting by Dr. James's office. Go on over there, all right? Uh. People always see value in what they don't understand. They always see value. That's why we went to the moon. Dr. James is waiting, Jackie. But... you died. Well, I'm clearly feeling better. Come on, go in and talk to Dr. James. Okay... Wait, what? Chief? I'm so confused. Jimmy! Jackie, come on in. I'd hoped I'd see you this morning. Please, have a seat. Now I know this ain't real. I'm not crazy. This is just an illusion. If you know it's an illusion, you could make it go away. But we've had this discussion before. You can't make it go away. Because it is not an illusion. Don't you see what's happening, Jimmy? The darkness is... You mean the voice you hear, Jackie? The one that makes you do bad things? Does that seem reasonable to you? Look, I'm not gonna skirt around the issue any longer. I'm... There is something... Ready? Just the fuck! Jackie, I know you're upset, but I'd like you to use your quiet voice now. I no longer wish to speak to your darkness voice. Fine. Let me out of here. I gotta take a walk. All right. Nobody's stopping you. Edward, take him to see Nurse Jenny. Come on, Jackie. Just try to stay calm, Jackie. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say, Doc. Let's go see Jenny, Jackie. Jackie, I'm so glad you're back on your med cycle. It's a very positive sign. I'm pretty much going to skip all the way through this, so don't Dr. blame Vick's me. Dr. Vick's been asking me about your progress. My schedule? What? Jenny, you don't... Okay.
Boop boop. I don't understand. You're in real trouble. We both are. We're getting out of here. Jack, now! No. Whoa, whoa, big guy. Code white! <clears throat> Easy, Jackie. <clears throat> Let go oh, of me! God. Come on! You were doing All right, here so we go. Good. Easy, easy. Calm down, Jackie. We're not gonna hurt you. Keep him still. Geronimo! Johnny, cut it out! Johnny, what the hell are you doing? Sleep. Get him off, would you please? Run, Jackie! Power to the people! Get back here, Jackie! Head for the bunker! Tell Eva he must I'm have ate some prunes. Damn, he's fast. He's running for the door! Jackie, get back here! Oi. This way. There's nothing out there for you. Hmm. See, as long as the bloodline continues, the darkness will always have a new host. Found that out my fifth birthday. Woke up in the middle of the night with my dad, just sitting on my bed, hovering over me. Butcher knife in his hand. Still not really sure if the crazy fuck was thinking of putting me out of my misery, or making sure no one else would take his place. Make it stop, Jackie. Jackie, Jesus. I can't believe it, you're back. You said the darkness won't let you die, but I, I never believed you. It took it four days to repair you after you got shot in the face. Oh, those are my fucking mind. Look, Jackie, I don't, uh know how to tell you this, but, uh, they arranged the funeral for your Aunt Sarah today. God damn it. God damn it. It's my fault. It's my fault they killed her. It was that prick Bragg. After he shot you, your Aunt Sarah, he, uh, uh Jackie, uh, I'm so sorry. Jesus. It's all gone to shit. Your boys beat the Brotherhood back. Chase them out of here. But you know that wasn't the last of them, right? We can't let the Brotherhood take the darkness, Jackie. That's not gonna happen. The darkness. The darkness has Jenny's soul. And it wants these Brotherhood Jackoffs dead and the siphon for itself. If I don't play ball, it says it'll keep her forever. Jackie, that siphon in the darkness's hands, it's not good. It's too powerful. With the siphon, it could overwhelm you. Take control completely. I don't have a choice. I won't let it hurt Jenny. Jackie, let's uh, let's take a step back here, okay? Let's let's think about this. So, what, what if, uh, what if she isn't even real? Mm? The darkness plays tricks on you, huh? It makes you see things. No, it's her. I know it. I feel it. So, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna go to my aunt Sarah's funeral. Then I'm gonna go kill a lot of people. Be careful, Jackie. The Brotherhood will stop at nothing to get the darkness. Nothing. Think. Think, think, think. God damn it, I can't think straight. These are all the relics right here. You go about your day. I'll find out what I can. So, in any case. I'll be right here. My nose in a book. Hey, good to see you back on your feet, boss. Someone's gonna pay out their ass for this, Jackie. You just point the way. Uh. 
Hey, Jackie. Good to see you back. Those fucking weirdos tried to drag you off. But we were able to turn them around after you took so many of them out. We just couldn't get Dan Sarah in time. Frank. I'm sorry about Eddie. You did the right thing, boss. Nothing else you could have done. We're gonna take care of his wife, though, right? Of course. We'll look after his family. Thanks, boss. That means a lot. Ay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh. Hey, Jackie. Hey, wait, what's up? Jackie? So, uh, I was fucked up, huh? Too bad about the old lady. She was nice to me. What a day, huh, Jackie? I heard you got possessed by the devil. That's fucked up. So, uh, I was fucked up, huh? Um, that doesn't help. Say hi to everyone for me. Oh, thank God you made it, sir. The nerve of them barging into our home uninvited. And armed, no less. Uh, I've got a lot of work to do. Most of the plants are damaged. No good will come of this. Mark my words. The nerve of them barging into our home uninvited. And armed, no less. The future is an open road, just waiting for you. Jackie, Remember, boy, are you a sight for sore eyes. I'm really sorry about what happened, Jackie. Whoever these fucking pricks are, they are gonna pay. Those guys won't be stupid enough to fuck with us again. I'm hungry. Fuck, I'm always hungry. Know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Let's get up to the cemetery. Ew. Jesus Christ, Jackie? I'm sorry about what happened to Sarah, Jackie. You did what you had to do. No one blames you for what you did. For me, it's not about the money. It's the art. If you ever need the name of a good pig farmer, you just let old Butcher know. Some might say I'm just a janitor. But without me to clean up the mess, the city would be swimming in blood and guts. I remember when my grandpa died. Threw himself in a furnace just so he wouldn't leave a mess. I'm sorry about what happened to Sarah, Jack. You go pay your respects now, Jack. Jackie. You don't want to go up there, kid. Nothing you need to see. Ah, oh, fuck, Jimmy. This is all my fault. Occupational hazard, son. I'm just... I'm just so sorry about your aunt. She was one tough broad, you know. Funeral is today. We should get down there soon. Yeah. Let's go. The one time Nigel finally takes me out, they destroy the place. Gonna need more than me to clean up this mess. Don't know why Mr. Butcher told me to keep out of the bedroom. Whoa, must have been one hell of a party last night. Gonna need more than me to clean up this mess.
Well, they really tore up the place. They tore it up pretty good. Damn. I feel sorry for Jackie, to be honest. Well, here's the blood. They made one hell of a mess in here. <sighs> Boss, we're ready to head to the cemetery. Just say the word and we're gone. Time to go say goodbye to Aunt Sarah, Vinny. You go ahead. I'll make sure the boys are ready for you when you get there. Well, to pay respects to Aunt Sarah. When I was 18, running numbers for my cocksucking Uncle Paulie, I used to kill time at Rocco's. Real shithole of a bar. But the waitress, biggest tits you ever seen. I'm pissed drunk this one time, and I hear someone call my name. Next thing I know, five goons are stomping my head in. Fucking assholes put me in a hospital for a week. Two people sat with me the whole time. Jenny? And my Aunt Sarah. My last day there, when I'm finally healed up, Aunt Sarah leans in, slips me a piece of paper. It's got the names and addresses of the assholes who put me in there. One look and I got the lesson. I wasn't gonna make the same mistake those fuckers did. Jackie, none of this is real. There you go, Jackie. Two relics here. You will probably have to remember this part right here. Right now, the, the, the light is not bothering you as long as you don't have the darkness out to kill enemies. Car. Come on, Jackie, let's you and me head up. The church put on a beautiful service. Yeah, they did it right, didn't they, Vinny? You bet. Top shelf all the way. Classy. A little long, but you know us Catholics like to talk.
you know, boss, we're, we're all thrilled that you, uh, you know, you got your thing back, but, uh, you know, some of the boys are thinking maybe this hit has something to do with that, and, you know, well, no disrespect, but... Just spit it out, Vin. You know that ain't no one's gonna back you up more than me, Jackie. Just give the boys something to go on, okay? Well, not for nothing. You spent four days in the back room with that crazy prick Johnny when by rights you should have been dead. We just want to know what we're up against here, you know? Let's go up. <laughs> People are gonna be glad to see you back in one piece, boss. I tell you, it wouldn't have been the same seeing your Aunt Sarah off without the old Jackie Estacado. Got that right. I'm sorry for your loss, Jackie. Okay. I think I know there's something here. Wait. I saw something. Um, must be my imagination. Hello. There's the way I have to go. Uh huh. Hello there. Yeah. Well, we never would have made that last push if Jackie didn't take out so many of those fucking guys. Holy shit, it's Jackie. I can't believe you're back. My condolences, boss. Someone's gonna pay for this, Jackie. I know this is a tough pill to swallow, Jackie. But she's home now, right? Buried here with the rest of your family. It's a shame Jenny wasn't buried here too, you know. She was family to you. I'm sorry she's gone. She's always with me. Jackie, I know what a terrible burden you carry, but carrying that burden is what made you strong. What'll get you through this? I want you to know I think you're... One tough old lady, Jackie. How many times do I have to shoot her before she surrenders?
Sorry about those, everyone. Not worthy. Ah, about worthy for this. Little fucker. Ah, <laughs> uh, things are good. Okay then. Ah, uh, get out of here. Now that's some nice hardware. Well, thank you, my fellow darkling. My darkling, my good sir. Mmm, yes. Fuck that light. It's evil.
Stop jumping around like a jumping bean. It's a staccato! Let's move! There's somebody apart now. <laughs> Good old Darkling. You never changed, have you? I'm looking around for any relics. Relic, relic, relic. Where's a relic when you need one? <laughs> Punish him. Jesus, darkness. Never thought you had a uh, a dark side to you, huh? Jesus, that thing is so fat. <laughs> it wasn't me. <gasps> Jesus, criminy. Dark Lake. <laughs> Sorry about this, everyone. Me. Oh. 
Help you, my good sir. Give me that. I heard that noise. Go to a swarm. Hello. Swarmy, swarmy. You love me. You love me. You want me to use you more? Ooh. Rhubar, huh? Okay, then. Don't mind if I do. I'm gonna appeal someone really fucking hard here. Are you there, there flesh host? Well, son of a... Don't go into the mire! Oh! Fuck me! Uh, <laughs> okay. I got rid of your freaking light. Got rid of your light for you, buddy. This one carries the darkness. So quick. Give me more, more alright. Hesha in the face. How original. Oh. It's him. Hello there. I've 
got an idea. Bing! And nothing's gonna go wrong with my idea. <laughs> something I never see in a game. It's like, hey, how you doing? Let me just defy gravity for you. Oh, I hate you. you little slut for a this part because of the one guy's okay, all right all right guys be right back anyways here I am Get ripped in half. Soon you'll work for me. Not enough. Oh, God. Hello? Darling, ahoy. Could have sworn I saw something. Are you kidding me? Jesus, my phone just scared the crap out of me. Oh. It's like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> Great, I get flash banged in the face. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, hello there, Ray. Hello, Ray. <laughs> thought not as well. Why did I sound like Breen there? I thought not. It's hard to keep track of him. I have no idea. <laughs>
Oh, hell yeah. Can we go tear someone apart now? Wait. Wait. Excuse me. Okay then. That's what I need right there. Boom. Join me. We'll find it together. The host is MP7, huh? Over here! Jackie's over here! Fire! fire. Oh, fuck you up, Jackie boy! <laughs> oh, drunk, bastard! Hey, bastard!
Aww. First death. Like you must have your revenge! Your boss hiding. What makes you think he's hiding? Huh? Hiding from weakness like you? <laughs> he's at Hellgate. You oh, remember that Hellgate, so don't you, Jackie? So many fond memories there, huh? <laughs> Come pay us a visit. <laughs> We're waiting for you. Hellgate, huh? Thanks for the help, asshole. <laughs> 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 First time you kill a man, you come to a crossroads. You learn something about yourself. You don't learn what you're capable of or how bad a person you are or any of that bullshit. You learn you can sleep at night after, or you learn you can't. You're either haunted, or you're not. I was 16 years old the first time I killed a man. And I slept like a baby every night since. Okay, boss.
Oh, I had it with these guys, Jackie. We gotta put an end to this. That's the plan, Vin. Let me know what you need me to do. Sit tight. I'm gonna check in with Johnny. Anything you say, boss. And when you're ready to put these fucks down, you say the word. Those guys with those chains, the ones that take away your weapons, the little ones you hold, are really annoying. Hey, Jackie. Can't deny those sturdy legs he's got, though. I mean, look at him. Man. Hello there, Chief. See you around, boss. You take your medicine, it ain't poison just because they say it is. You look at the fourth. Jackie, I heard what happened. Jesus Christ. I think I'm losing my fucking mind. I keep. I keep seeing that loony bin. And it's getting worse. I mean. It's like I'm losing time or something. Jackie, listen to me. This is what the darkness does it confuses you. So I, I, I'm thinking maybe it would be a nice time to go visit Hawaii or Fiji, someplace nice, warm, and way the fuck away from these guys. No, they're holed up at the old boardwalk in Astoria, a place called Hellgate Field. Me and Jenny used to go there when we were kids. That's where I'm headed. Jackie, you gotta think carefully. Hmm? This could be a trick. The, the whole thing mm, smells like a trap. That's because it is a trap, dummy, but I don't have a choice. I can't let it keep hurting Jenny. Don't let them take the darkness, Jackie. You do that. We are all fucked. What about the siphon? You can't let the darkness have it. You do that. We are all, once again, fucked. Not even the Angelus could stop the darkness then. Great. So I'm fucked either way. Listen, Johnny. Thanks for everything. Anytime, Jackie. Just, you know, never, ever. Ever again, okay? When we were just talking, you said not even the Angelus could stop it. What does that mean? What's the Angelus? The Angelus? You mean you don't know? Jackie, the Angelus is the complete and total opposite of the darkness. It's a creature of pure light. The Angelus and the darkness have been fighting since we... Since we... Well, I don't know, but a real long time, man. Nobody's seen it for a while, and you, of all people, should thank your lucky stars for that. You said this Angelus thing made the siphon? That's the rumor. Creature of pure light, weapon of pure light. Kinda makes sense, huh? Mm -hmm. So this siphon... could it kill me? Sure. If they killed it with the siphon, no way the darkness is gonna be able to repair that damage. You'd go straight to hell. No press and go, no collecting your 200 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks. Tell me more about this Angelus thing. You mean besides the fact that it wants to kill you? A little more than that would be helpful. All right, here goes. Everything the darkness is, the Angelus isn't. The darkness is, well, dark. The Angelus is light. Darkness wants chaos. Angelus wants order. Darkness needs a male host. Angelus needs a female. Guess that kind of explains why they've been fighting for... Well, forever, I guess. Female? Yeah, you know. Boobs, pocketbooks, shoes. Female. I gotta draw you a picture? You saying one day this broad's gonna show up wanting to kill me? Yep, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, yep. Makes you feel any better. You're not the first guy to be in this situation. And you definitely won't be the last. Terrific. Thanks again, Johnny. No problemo. You gotta understand something. The, the, the darkness is gonna mess with your head, huh? You get addicted like me? <clears throat> Pretty soon, you, you, you don't know who's controlling who. Hey, if you die, can I have all your books? What? Is it uh, too soon? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good old Johnny Pal. This right here is a dark no this right here is a sword right here. If you can't tell. Oh, uh, this is uh interesting. Um, I, I I don't know if you've looked inside this box, but the ashes in here? Yeah. 
definitely a dead guy. In fact, I think this dead guy used to be Cain. You know, first son of Adam and Eve, formerly of Cain and Abel, that guy, that guy. Now, there are two theories about what happened to Cain. The first claims that he married his sister and built a house where they lived until the day it collapsed, killing him. And honestly, that's so fucking boring, I almost believe it. The second theory, however, claims Cain wandered the world for a hundred years. See, God had set him on a path of atonement. So, alone, armed with nothing but his murder stick, Cain fought to rid our world of darkness. And by all accounts, he was pretty good at it. Not that I'm surprised. I mean, this is the guy who invented murder, fratricide, and hate crime all in one go. Obviously, he had talent. But talent won't get you very far against the darkness. Cain mm, had heard of a woman called the Sister of Light. We know her as the Angelus. Cain tracked her down, seeking an ally against the darkness. Thing is, the Angelus is one nasty bitch. Real stickler for the rules. A hundred years couldn't remove the stench of Abel's blood, so when the Angelus got a whiff of Cain, she burned him on the spot. Seeing as how I'm holding a box of his ashes, I'm inclined to believe the second theory. Yeah, it's not very fun now, is it, for him? Huh. If you ever want to learn about these fucking things, you can just come right over here. See this sexy guy right here? This is the Dark Man. As you can tell by the cute little demon heads on either side, the Dark Man was one of your predecessors. <laughs> In fact, he's the first Darkness host we have any record of. We know there have been hosts before him, but none of them got statues, so fuck them. <laughs> no one knows who the Dark Man was, or where he came from. All we have to go on is one passage from the Hidden Testament of Moses. If I can paraphrase it, it says, He walked out of the wilderness, a Dark Man who spoke with authority. You know, like James Earl Jones. And, and, and those words were black, even the wisest were swayed. Cue 40 years of horror unlike anything the world had ever seen. Oh yeah, you heard that correctly. 40 fucking years. Moses wasn't lost in the desert for four decades. He was fighting a war against Mr. Tall, Dark, and Stretchy. Seriously, I mean, what's up with this guy's neck? He's like a giraffe. Anyway, and, uh, 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 what were we talking about? Oh, uh, uh, the 40-year war, 40-year war. Um, before the war had ended, the Dark Man had eaten Moses' heart, which is the real reason Moses never saw the Promised Land. It's also probably why the Dark Man got a statue. I mean, killing Moses is a pretty big deal, historically speaking. <laughs> anyway, there are a lot of darkness relics here. Oh, you know, Jackie, yeah. you bring me the nicest things. Your methods could be a little less mass murdery, but who am I to argue? Anyway, you wanted to know about this piece. It looks like a panel from the Metatron Steel. Steely. Steely. I don't know. It's, it's, I'm, we're going to say steel, okay? Which would be amazing if it weren't impossible. See, the Metatron Steel was carried down from heaven by Enoch, way back at the start of time. This wasn't easy. The steel was a stone slab, carved directly from the seed of creation. On it was inscribed every revelation Enoch witnessed in heaven. The amount of knowledge contained on just an inch of this thing would shatter our every notion of creation. So, of course, someone fucking lost it. Lucky for us, someone else was smart enough to copy it. Well, parts of it. This is one of those parts. It's called the Sister of Light. And it's pretty important, at least concerning you. Think back to Genesis. There were only two things in the beginning, light and dark. The Bible says God separated the two, turning light into day and darkness into night. But in actuality, the darkness just stayed the darkness, and the light became the Angelus, or as it was once known, the Sister of Light. What is the Angelus? Well, not to bum you out, but according to legend, it's your other half, Jackie, and all it wants is to rip you open and burn away the darkness. Yeesh. There's just not an easy way to lay that on somebody. Okay. Whoa, yeah. Hold up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whatever you do, for the love of God, don't ever let that blade touch your skin. I mean, what do you think you're doing bringing that here? Well, okay, yes, 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 this is your house, so I guess you can do whatever the fuck you want. But remember, I'm here to help you figure if what you want to do is actually something you don't want to do. Trust me when I say, using that knife falls into the latter category. That's a Ferba, which on its own is dangerous enough to a guy like you. A Ferba's blade will pin a demon to the spot. Once that's done, only the person who shanked the demon can free it. Now, it is possible that a normal Ferba wouldn't be strong enough to bind you. But this is the Trinity. Its blade was forged from the three nails that crucified Christ. Not normal! Extremely not normal! If you'd cut yourself with the Trinity, you would have been paralyzed. The only person who could have set you free would have been you, which you wouldn't be able to do because you would be paralyzed. Do you see the paradox here? Come to think of it, you ever decide to touch this stuff, just, just 
Just ask first, all right? Nothing big, just a simple, hey, Johnny, is it okay if I touch this? And I'll say, sure, Jackie. That absolutely will not trap you in a never-ending loop of torment. Or I'll say the other thing. You know, no! <laughs> I love that. That's pretty interesting, yeah. So, anyway, guys. Fuck. Did this all go shit-shaped in a hurry? Not good, boss. This is a bad deal, Jackie. A very bad deal. I've been talking to Vinny. Maybe we should lay low for a while. Let things settle down. That's smart thinking. And all of you should do that. But I'm ending this. Tonight. What the hell's that supposed to mean? It means I'm going by the old boardwalk up in Astoria. I have something there I need. What's this all about, boss? Just say the word. Me and the boys are ready to bust some fucking balls. These pricks got the nerve to come in here? No, Vinny. I put you guys at risk because of my thing. I'm not doing that again. I gotta do this on my own, all right? Jackie, come on. I can't... That's an order. Hear me? You got some balls, kid. Fellas, if I don't come back... None of that, Jackie. I'll see you when you get back. Got it? Hmm. Well then. Hey there, handsome. Uh, oh, I didn't. I didn't mean. It's just, you know, you, you got nice hair. Kiss ass. Man, I gotta get some. Been too damn long. Not Jimmy the Grape. He might be old, but the guy still got it. We should all be so lucky. Ha 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 ha! Ah man. See you later. Hey. Oh, remember that story I was telling you? Right. Okay. So I'm on the bathroom floor with black number eight, and we're beating the shit out of each other, right? After about two minutes of this, Eddie finally comes in, and I'm thinking, thank God, because this big motherfucker's gonna kill me. So what does Eddie do? He steps right over me. He figures like the girl's getting cold or something, I don't know. He fucking picks up where I left off. <laughs> Long story short, I finally knee the guy in the balls till he passes out. I get him out of there. By that time, Eddie's done doing his business. And he comes out of the stall and he says, Thanks, pal, I owe you one. <laughs> I would have kicked his ass right there. But I had to hand it to him. Because that Eddie, he always did have his priorities straight. <laughs> God bless. May you rest in peace, that lovable bald bastard. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> See you on the How's flip side, side, boss. Oh my gosh. Adios, boss man. Yo, Jack. It's time to end this, Jackie. Mm, yes. Take care of business, Jackie. Damn, boss. That's it. Now these fucks have gone too far. Well, yeah, they have. You go take care of this, Jackie. Jackie. How you sleeping, boss? You sleeping good? Oh, I'm doing great, Leo. I want yeah, some of those you take swords. Care of I want those swords so care. bad. Well, here we go. When we was kids, Jenny and I were broke. But she always found a way to have a good time. One time for my birthday, she snuck us into a roller rink. Some kid was having a party and it was so big, they didn't notice a little girl helping herself to some cake and some presents. All for me. Best birthday I ever had. She snuck us into movie theaters, kind our way into bars, whatever. And whenever we got busted, she was just as good at getting us out as she was getting us in. She could con her way out of anything. But I should have known. Luck like that can't last forever. That 
asshole better have been telling the truth. Well, <sighs> anyways, everyone, this has been Shadow Play 93, also known as Lucker Play 93, and in front of Shadow Play 95. I will see you all in the next video of the darkness, too. Peace out, keep on the stealth. Later. Bye, everyone.